All right, so I wanted to record something really quick. Uh, we found a new bug, or at least it's new to me, at least. So, uh, in general zero hour, which is super useful potentially for speed runs, but it's a little busted. Um, so I almost want to kind of talk about it real quick, just to get a lay of what the glitch actually is. So, um, it uses stealth general saboteurs. Um, the saboteurs can invade. Uh, enemy buildings and like disable them and like sort of mess with them a little bit uh, It kind of changes depending on what building you use use it on I should say um, like I think with uh, With like war factories and things it sort of prevents them from building units and with uh, with power it actually disables the power um, and uh, with like uh, supply centers it um, steals money so it has a bunch of different effects, but the one that's really important is power. So um, real quick, what I want to show is let's just do this on uh, let's just do this on easy real quick. Let's start a match with stealth. I'm just going to show you the opening cutscene real quick, just so you know that I'm you know what I'm show, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So you'll see here, um, you can see that the base defenses are on, right? Which means that the base has power, right? So everything is normal. I just started this as like a fresh uh, launch of the game. So let's go to our loaded saves and I have a test save sort of set up, which this is exactly what this could be useful for. So I have this setup thing. I'm gonna go ahead and sabotage a couple of these power things. They've all been done. And then I'm gonna exit the mission. So what's interesting is that it seems like it disables buildings for like 30 seconds or so. And whenever you leave, it sets a flag that says these buildings are disabled. Whenever you leave the match or finish the match, like if you get the a victory, um, then that timer doesn't finish and the flag is never unset. So it's still set as being disabled. So we're gonna start a new challenge run. You just saw me start one a minute ago and everything was fine. I just did the thing and I exited the match. The flags will not be unset and I'm gonna start a brand new run and you're gonna see that the base defenses are offline. So that means that all those power plants that are disabled are permanently disabled. And that flag will remain set that way until I restart the game. So as long as this session this game session is on it will never undo it which means but if you have a that setup save you can just redo it again so um yeah and it works for multiple ones you, it, you can stack them so it's not just one so that first stage is done right i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to show you this is uh the second mission this is kwai general kwai right challenge my tanks general and here in a second you're gonna see base defenses are fine power is on right let's go ahead and exit the mission and then let's load up let's load up the setup for tank right so i have a whole bunch of saboteurs all lined up ready to go i don't know the exact number that i need to sabotage but i have uh one for every single power plant here And then we're going to go ahead and exit. Tanks are the key to any and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to relaunch that Kwai mission. Versus just to show this off. Your tank rush is nothing compared to mine. And uh, you're going to notice Soon your blood will make it they're all disabled. Again. And like I said, Tanks that does stack. So let's go back. Start a brand new one. Solo play, challenge, easy. This one. Prince Kassad versus General Granger. Sonic Boom, baby. So now, both Granger and Kwai are starting their level without power. So that's pretty busted. You could essentially do that on every single, you could set up, have a brand new setup save for every single general, and then you could um, just effectively disable every single general and then play however you want, right? 
Um, and that does affect all difficulties. So if I start that challenge on hard mode and I open this up again, Granger is still going to have disabled power. Um, we're going to need to talk about the rules for this. Um, I mean, personally, I would think that setting this up... I don't know. We'll have to talk about it. This is definitely a major glitch, though, because um, you can just restart the mission and keep doing this, so it affects ILs, and it affects um, full game runs. Uh, but yeah, so that's something that is new and something that is interesting that I'm playing on the most updated version, which is 1.04, and I'm playing with Gen Tools, um, and it still works. Uh, apparently this also works in Skirmish. I haven't really played around with it, but uh, yeah, it's it's pretty busted. So just want to let you guys know what's going on and uh, a new glitch that we have now. So, yay!